In this tutorial, we'll see how to print Palo Alto configuration changes and commit configuration using Ansible. We'll be using two modules for this task. First is Pan OS OP. This will help you to execute operational commands on Palo Alto firewall. Here we need to pass the provider parameter. This will include Palo Alto IP address, username and password. This we have seen earlier. Another parameter is CMD. Within that we can execute the commands. Here we'll be executing show config list changes command and storing this into a variable. We'll see how to use this. After that, we'll see how to commit the configuration. For that, we'll be using pan os underscore commit module. Within that, we have additional two options to exclude certain configurations. If you want to exclude policy and object configuration, we can give true. And if you want to exclude device and network config, we can give this particular parameter. If you don't give these values, the default value is going to be false. It will try to commit all the configuration. Now we'll go to the documentation. First, we'll open Pan OS OP module. And this is a very simple module. Here we can just give the command. And mainly we'll be getting two keys. One is std out and std out in XML format. I'll go to VS Code. So I have already written the code for this. Here we are using pan OS OP, then giving the provider and executing the command, storing this into conf changes. We will try running the playbook. And here we are getting std out in XML format, std out lines and std out. Now here we'll try to put only std out. So that we can get the data in the proper JSON format. So now we can see the configuration changes in the device. We'll verify this from the firewall. I'll open firewall here. Within this, we have three changes. One is addition of one address object. Another is editing the description of one particular interface. And then we are deleting one security rule. Now we'll see how to commit these configurations. Here I'll add the commit code we'll be using and OS underscore commit. We'll go to the documentation of the module. Here we have a parameter called admins. If you want to commit only the changes made by specific list of users, we can give this option admins and we can give the list of users. Here we can see one example here we'll try to commit the changes done by all the admins then we have exclude device and network configuration the default value is false for that then exclude policy and object then exclude shared object you can use this option if you have configuration shared across multiple virtual systems if you want to skip those configurations you can give this we'll see how to exclude these two configurations I'll copy this. If you don't define this, the value is going to be false. Here I'll give true. This also I'll give true. Then I'll give a description. Committed by Ansible. Then we'll register this conf commit and we'll print this. Save it. And by default, we are going to exclude these configurations. 
all our configurations are within this so this time this will not make any changes to the device we'll try running this you can see changed is false now what we'll do we will try to apply only policy and object configuration so i'll comment this we can verify in the firewall once so when we run policy and object configuration it will apply this and this configuration i'll close this now we'll try running again now it is taking time that means it is trying to commit the configuration now commit is successful and it is saying partial changes to commit and this has applied only policy and object configuration now we'll verify this from the firewall so here now we can see interface configuration is still pending and here if you go to monitor configuration here also will be able to see the commit details now we will try to commit even the network config now also configuration is committed successfully we can verify that from the firewall now here it is saying no pending changes to commit and if you refresh the configuration now we can see the new commit in this way you can print the configuration changes and commit configuration using ansible